Hey guys, One Piece Nation here today, and I am joined by Real to Real. Hey, YouTubers. Yeah, and we're going to be talking about the resurrection of S arc and our thoughts on it. <laughs> As like a whole, you know what I mean? Kind of like I guess like a review, even though I think we all have a very similar opinion on the arc. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you want to start? <laughs> oh me? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, screw this arc. And, uh, I, no, I'm serious. I am yeah. absolutely serious. So, where do we where do we begin with this without saying? So in 2013, Dragon Ball as a series came back. And I'm not talking about Dragon Ball Super or anything. I'm talking about the movie of Dragon Ball itself. And yeah. and there was like the Battle of Gods movie, you know, arguably the best Dragon Ball Z movie ever produced out of all fifteen, and and it gives us so much hype because we're sitting there thinking about oh the twelve universes and all this stuff, and then lo and behold, really soon after we get this we get an announcement for the fifteenth movie, yeah. and then the movie itself is quality is debatable. Yes, it, and that's that's what I'm getting to. You know, there was so much hype and so much for a potential of a Battle of Gods two. Is what we all wanted because it was considered canon at that point, and it kind of still is, and everything. But then we got basically having Frieza come back, and a lot of people thought at the time, rightfully so, that's kind of backtracking. You know, like yeah. we're we're going a little bit too far backwards in order to go forwards in this series. But you know, lo and behold. That's like that movie, although debatable, is probably one of the better of the Dragon Ball movies in general. Like, yeah. It just flows. It flows well, and a lot of that is just because it has the room to breathe. I mean, it's yeah. not just fighting the whole time, even though it is. There's a lot of there's a lot of cut up scenes, a lot of funny scenes. Like people get their due, like Master Roshi, Han, yeah. Gohan, Piccolo, Krillin, yeah, and all. It doesn't look like garbage. It doesn't look like garbage. Just, you know, like that's neither here nor there, in my opinion. But so we get to we get to Super, and Super goes, we're going to be retelling the stories. And I have been a champion for this ever since it started. It was It's okay that they're retelling these stories because they had to be working with these movies that are like small, little, inconsistent amounts of time for telling a big story like all anime animes are yeah. or manga or any type of story like Dragon Ball. And, you know... With that in mind, there are some scenes that are so good in the Battle of Gods arc of Dragon Ball Super that are so good that you you get to them and you're like, holy shit! Like yeah, like the Goku versus Beerus fight. That is yeah. way better in the in the uh, in the arc than yeah. it is in the movie. Yeah, like the Goku versus Beerus, Beerus, Beerus fight is so good. the The ritual is like much better in the show. Um, you know. The filler episodes and the first second episode are really good and everything. But now we get into the Fukatsu no F arc. And this is where they had a lot of room to change. Yes. Because, because there was a lot of stuff left open, a lot of stuff that could have been fleshed out more and everything. And we just didn't get any of it. And like free trading. People, like you could, some people say, oh, we did day trading. I'm like, no. We saw him telling Togoma to get in the pod. <sighs> After it was implied he had the crap beat out of him. That's what we saw. That isn't his no. trading. That's the aftermath no, of no. the trading. Even, I'll take it one step further. It's not just the aftermath of his training. It, it, that, seeing him and knowing him, like if they're going to answer the question of how did Frieza actually train for four months to get as strong as Goku and Vegeta, then Tagoma was the worst fucking thing they could have done at that point because Tagoma, yeah. Tagoma, Tagoma in the movie gets killed by a first form Frieza, Namek first form Frieza. Yeah, like that Frieza that kills him in the movie. Yeah, could go on weak ass go on could one shot him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And like that that happens in the show. He gets he, you know he gets maimed and everything like that. But he's sitting there going, "How did that guy?" Just being a rag doll for four months. I don't care how much his species grows or how much of a Zenkai type boost he gets for anything that he does. 
We don't even have confirmation. It's a thing. Like, as far as we know, he doesn't <laughs> get tank kind of it. Like, how did he get stronger? It, like, he just became, like, this tank of a person, and that's fine. But, like, how would they even, like, how would Frieza have held back? Because Frieza can't control his power. Like, his yeah. first form, his first form is the limited amount of power that he can give out. And he, yeah. can't, con- he can't suppress it. Maybe he can tap things and whatnot. But how could he even get to the point in four months where he's using Togoma as a ragdoll to actually end up even training enough to get as strong as Goku and Vegeta? I'm working to have Vegeta kill Togoma by the thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like when Adele hits, it gets hit by Broly. It's like she, she it's like realistically, you would explode like a cell junior. You would die instantly. <laughs> it's like no, Togoma should have taken one punch from Frieza and then just. Just die. Mm-hmm. But, you know, all that aside, because we're talking about Togoma, uh, Togoma, and now we're gonna, we have to talk about Ginyu, right? Yes, Ginyu, the biggest waste of time in probably the entire franchise, if you ask me. I, I'm, I'm going on here right now. In the original Namekian saga and all that stuff, I hated the Ginyu. I hated the Ginyu saga. I hated Ginyu. I hated everything about the Ginyu forms, other than Birder and Jace. Like, I hated I hated Raccoon, I hated Ginyu, I hated I hated um, Togoma. No, not Togoma. What was it? Uh, Gildo. Gil- yeah, Gildo. Everybody hates Gildo. We can believe it. Gildo. Gildo. Gildo whatever. Gildo. Um, he like I hated that saga so much, and bringing back Ginyu was actually kind of a stroke of genius. But they wasted you, it. Yeah, they wasted it. Like. It's like, you're waiting, Goku. Doesn't he come back in episode 23, right? Yeah. No, he, yeah, he went in the Gina kill game. I'm pretty sure in episode 24, well, right? Yeah, he kills. I think he kills him in 24. No, they bring back in you, they hype it up for an entire, like, half an episode, and then they have the Gina show up within the first two minutes of the episode. He's dead. Mm-hmm. And then they they waste Goten and Trunks. A complete waste. Complete freaking waste of Goten and Trunks. It makes me so mad. It doesn't even make any sense. Um, I well, like, Goten confusing is a, is a plot hole. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. It's like they were literally saying, we don't want to do Goten. Like, we don't want him in his arc. That's pretty much what they did. Mm-hmm. I think that's a sign admitting that. The Toei animation is pretty damn stupid. I don't think they're that dumb. <laughs> to make stupid laugh a couple of seconds. I just think I just think they were like I, I I don't even know I don't even like I can't think honestly if it if any of it makes sense it was probably all there for marketing purposes and whatnot where they're just like we can't really have him fight because if Gotenks is there he's gonna make an absolute difference and Gohan won't make this like we can't do that Gohan Piccolo scene which is bullshit anyway because Gohan should have died I've already made. So many rants about that fucking shit. I'm not going to do it anymore. No, my real rant here is eventually at the end of the arc, I'll get to that. Go on, went to train again. Yeah, in the manga, it's implied he's still, he still not training. So it's like the key to start training, and it's like, screw it, I'm not training anymore. Like, how did that work? <laughs> or they're so vastly different, the manga and the anime. Can they not keep them similar in any way at this point? You know... The, that's one thing I, I'm really curious about is because um, the way that Toriyama is working on it, and I think this wouldn't have ever really been an issue if the Fikatsu no F-Arc wasn't just so terrible. But the way that Toriyama is working on this property right now is they're like, it seems like he's sitting at a bar. And he's drunk. He's drunk. He's, he's plastered. Like, he's plastered, and he's sitting at a bar. And he has a couple cocktail napkins, and he's like doodling. He's doodling pictures, and he's like, "Oh, wouldn't it be cool if this happened? Wouldn't it be cool if this happened?" This and then like he mails all these fucking cocktail cocktail napkin napkins to Toei and uh, Toy Taro, and, and they like, have okay. to make sense of it. Like they have to make sense of it, and so they're telling two <laughs> vastly different stories right now. Like it, it's not vastly different at this point, but I promise you. It's going to end up being. Yeah, it's going to end up being. It's going to like. It, 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 it has to revive Piccolo off screen 
to make the sound that you're gonna fight in the tournament make damn sense. I, 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 I don't, I don't even fucking understand. Like, and now, what happened is later on down the line, they have to do with the Mechie and Dragon Ball. What happened? Well, like, 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 in the anime, it, 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 not enough time may have passed. Well, they only need it's four like, months. Now they're restricting it, though. So, Toriyama then done, like, a new arc or something that we, and they needed the Mechie and Dragon Ball. Depending on the time placement, they may look at Toriyama and be like, well, you see, there's a problem with that. I don't think they're... I think the the thing is is you know my my theory with that and why why it's just so outrageous and infuriating for me is they have like you, you, it doesn't really matter because in the sense of the in the world of the manga and the world of the anime um although the Namekian and Dragon Balls in the manga are probably still useful right now because of how long it takes them to. It's like what four months, yeah. every four months. But like they've used them, they use them, like they use them off. They've used them off screen and like Kabito Kai defuses. Yeah, when is that gonna happen? It's different. It's not like I thought it was gonna happen when they went to Namek. Maybe you're going to just say they did it off screen. Like maybe that's what they use the second wish for. But the, the fuck, I mean, like, okay, but that seems like, okay, so talking about, like, Toriyama having napkins or something, of like, he just has, like, a doodling of what he might want in the series, and they have to make sense of it. That was, like, something that I thought, like, for whatever reason, Kabuto Kai has to defuse, because for what it's worth in the manga, it's super fucking random. Like, like okay, the manga it, thing just happened. Yeah, it just happens, and you're sitting there going, that doesn't doesn't really make any sense because it's like not leading up to that in the anime at all. And then Piccolo dies, and you know, okay, well, they just brought back Frieza, and they have to use that. They use they have to go and use the Namekian Dragon Balls to do that anyway. Oh wait, Kabito Kai in the manga used the Namekian Dragon Balls to go wish himself together because they didn't yeah. know what to do with the wishes anyway. So what's going to happen? <laughs> I honestly, I don't know. I mean, my biggest problem with <laughs> Super, I'm going to point that out, is not the animation. Because after that, after the latest, without any spoilers, I will always say after the latest One Piece episode, I can see why the animation is been bad. The Toei, it clearly put most of their budget for everything into that episode. Like, some of those things are movie quality. I mean, I can understand the animation, but the effect of the fight, the frame weight of them. Mm -hmm. Like, when the best part of this, like, the second best fight in this arc. I mean, it's actually in the theory so far, in my opinion, is Vegeta versus Frieza. Because it's not like clanky, it's not like a one frame every 10 seconds. It's like really fluid, it flows beautifully, and it looks like something from the original theory. I, I, yeah, I mean... Like, pick on the art all you want, that did it. There was no point when Vegeta would just, like, one frame per punch. It was like multiple frames for every attack. And it was beautiful to look at. I mean, thank God they like they gave Vegeta his due. Like, I think that's as much as we can say about the brand new episode. Like they gave yeah. Vegeta his due, and that's I mean, the Earth is floating with better. But there are so many things in this art that were just wasted. In my opinion, one of the biggest things is Goku and Vegeta training. Oh my God! Yes, it's like it's like they teased it that they were going to show the God transformation. And it's like they were they had sat down one day and just decided to throw out that idea. Like instead of showing how they became Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan God Blue, we're getting this. We're getting the same thing in the damn movie. Well, I mean, even that, even with that, them reaching that form off screen, you know, it, they could have, they could have depowered just like, just like the movie. Uh, like how the movie was and then the series was for the Beerus versus Goku fight and how they overpowered it like substantially. They could have yeah. depowered they could have depowered them like hardcore. Yeah. Where where well, I think where I'm happy they didn't do that. I'm happy they did it. That you know, that people would go back to thinking Super Saiyan God is stronger. Like it'd be it'd create way too much confusion if they're not clearly stronger. But um Oh my! I'm sorry. People keep calling me. <laughs> uh, 
uh, and the thing is, um, so people, it's not that I do it. What I'm saying is, I wanted to, like, what if it was a fight where Goku didn't go Super Saiyan Blue, but Vegeta did? I mean, that would have been a good idea. Because the thing is, is the, the, the thing is, is, it's still very, so much is so unknown about how Super Saiyan Blue is achieved, um, just because the show has refused to tell us how Super Saiyan Blue is actually achieved. Yeah. Versus Super Saiyan God or something, so much so that a lot of people, there's a lot of headcanon out there. But I mean, but that's the the worst part is that Vegeta achieved it on his own in some magical way. Mm -hmm. It's like what? Because you train with weak, you're a god. It's like can weak just make people god now? Well, it's like if I gave him Oolong and Oolong trained with weak, does he become a god? It's like we don't know anything. We don't know anything. But the thing is. But the thing I was thinking was the, the biggest bastardization of the Super Saiyan Blue transformation in both the movies and the series is the fact that Frieza didn't bring that out of anybody. It was kind of like, oh, look what I got. I have this new transformation. Now let's fight. When well, it's just like Dragon Ball's always been. I think Hell Leon uses it, and I love this raid. They're measuring each other's dick. That's what it is. It's a like measuring contest. Well, I mean, okay. And I'm like, it kind of works. But it's, it's kind of it's but it's how bad they are. But it's kind of like the Majin Buu. I think one of the reasons a lot of people hate the Majin Buu saga is because the Super Saiyan 3 transformation, while awesome and like super overpowered for what it's worth, was never really quite explained. It was... No, it just, like, I trained really hard. Now I'm the Super Saiyan 3. Yeah. And so, and Gotenks gets the same thing. You know, just like, wait, how the fuck is that possible? Because, like, how is that possible? I and mean, then, like, how did Goku reach that level when... How did Goku reach that level when every time you've reached another level, it's always for something more? It's always for something more than just your own strength. Or it's always the question is how he reached it with nobody to trade with, considering according to the manga, Taikai didn't even catch it. Well, I in, in the manga in the, in the manga in the manga it makes kind of sense because you don't know you don't know who's there. Like the the anime makes even less sense in that because like in the manga you don't actually know like who's up there training with Goku like they could be they can be so much stronger than anyone ever existed but the anime has to introduce Pycon and everyone else and Goku beats Pycon and uh he he like his he's matched for Pycon when he goes like Super Saiyan plus Kaioken weird fucking combination and well no when you think about it it does make sense though but Kaioken times fifty it's a Actually, I am just watched a video from Kwame about this earlier. If you consider with that the Super Saiyan is a 50 times multiplier, and Kaioken is another 50 times multiplier, it would put you around Super Saiyan 2. So, that the old, so what? Through so Kaioken and Super Saiyan, he's able to hold his own against Taikon. It's like, but he can't do that all the time. But my point is, is my point is, is, so he trains and he becomes Super Saiyan 2, but what happens, like, you know, PyCon's not on that level anymore. Like, how does he reach Super Saiyan 3? Why does he reach Super Saiyan 3? I don't know. Well, we all know why. Goku just wants to be strong. Yeah. That's the reason. Yeah. But it, the fact that the fact that it was all those transformations are achieved off screen, uh, just like Super Saiyan Blue, it, it's just so disheartening in the whole concept. Like, that's not Dragon Ball. You know, like, what is Goku say? It's like, it comes from a need, like yeah. it comes yeah, from a need, and and the thing is, like now we've reached this point in Dragon Ball Super where nothing comes from a need anymore. It's just the the <laughs> want the want to get stronger, like and it, it, it's bad. I mean, my big thing with Super recently, especially, is that just it's obvious nobody is trying, and that's the reason I'm worried about the combo arc. I'm giving it five episodes. If I don't get a good significant amount of that, that, that satisfaction, why why should I continue to watch it? I mean, Toei is not trying. Totaru is semi trying. Toriyama is not doing anything about them not trying. I mean, if they were trying, Goten and Trunk would be older. I don't know about that. You no, know, I mean, especially if you think about the fact that we're around the time in the super. We're going off a common sense in the Boo saga and like how much time it passed, we're starting to get close to what history and trust took place. And Trump should look like he did in history and trust. 
I agree. I, like I agree, but I agree with that. But when we when we first meet Goku in Dragon Ball, he's eleven, right? Yeah. He's like ten, eleven, and like <laughs> years go by, and he still looks the same. Like Saiyans have Saiyans have uh, long gesturing periods and. No, the, only reason Go, the only reason Gohan grows up is because it's probably a recessive trait that Goten and Trunks actually got, but Gohan didn't, so he grew up like a normal human being. <laughs> True. But that's all that's all headcanon with like a couple of facts from from uh, the Daizenshu and yeah. all this. So it makes no sense. But I mean I agree. I agree. It's they're not they're not growing up because of marketing purposes and which makes no sense because you realize, like, I feel like they could sell much more toys if they start making them like cool looking fucking teenagers. Even if they're not doing yeah. anything, people will be like, oh, cool. I love Go Ten Trump. I think there's a huge fan cool base. Now. Yeah. Like, they look cool. Like, in the, the end of Dragon Ball Z, they look good. I mean, Trunks just looks like future Trunks, but. Yeah, I, mean, I agree. <laughs> I mean, if there were Gun Duke something, well, if I were a bass on it and the Red Ratchet F for the entire video. Because if you look at this arc, even in that last episode, they do small things. Like that scene with Trump going, I was sliced Frieza up next time they come back. I'm like, round of applause for that reference. I, I like, uh, I like the, flash, the flashes to everyone who was dying. It made it a lot more, uh, it, like, it made it a lot more heartfelt. Yeah. I mean, and, and the Battle of God's arc, you could consider that arc a lot better because of things like changes. Like this arc either changed it and made it worse or didn't change it at all. Mm -hmm. Because there's like two or there's like two changes that were good. Mm -hmm. Vegeta fight and the destruction of the earth. I can't think of anything else that was good. I mean I agree. I mean, seeing a little bit more of Whis's training was good, but literally that was like seven minutes. Yeah, I mean, I ain't like, I they can't. Do something, but they do other things good. Like, I like how they didn't have Whis openly admit in the very beginning. I could rewind times three minutes. Mm -hmm. How they had him in quiet, but he was never directly dead. Yeah, exactly. So we weren't just sitting there the entire movie like. When is it going to come into play? Yeah, you know, like in the movie, we know something bad is going to happen and they're going to have to revert time. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, they just throw that in there for no reason. Exactly. I mean, I mean, I, I guess, I guess just to like final thoughts on it, like you're saying, just it, it's just they should have skipped it. Yeah. Battle of Gods. Kind of taking Battle of the Gods and making its own thing really worked, in my opinion. Yeah, um, it did. The only thing I can imagine, the only thing I really can imagine that they've done with this new one, or why they had to retell the story, is because like a lot of people are speculating that Gohan's going to become like important later. And mm -hmm. I have my own, I have my own theories about that, and they needed to like basically beat Gohan down in order to bring him back up. Which explains why they kill Piccolo and why they do all this stuff to just kind of hurt Gohan. Um, yeah. But there's better ways that they could have achieved that without having to. They they didn't have to retell the whole fucking story. I agree. Way. And I also feel like what a lot of people seem to forget is that the people that worked on the movie at Toei are probably like we just made this. We just worked our asses off making this amazing movie. Which are the same story. I'm not um, doing that again. I'm not staying down and getting paid less to redo the same crap I did like a year ago. Well, they also they probably have different people working on it. To be fair. True, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I understand where you're coming from, but I would just say, that, yeah, there's probably people who um who worked on both. Yeah, and we're just like, like oh, yeah, whatever. The writing team, I'm sure, is exhausted. They're just oh, like, the writing team probably like, what the hell are we writing? <laughs> oh, this, is, this is a terrible story, let's all be honest. Maybe. It would be really interesting to it would be really interesting to hear like honest opinions from those people who have to write this show. It's like 
yeah, like this is just nothing but like marketing, like fan service, like marketing. Yeah, We're just going to, we'll, we'll get to the new stuff in next week, guys. Just yeah. please keep watching. You know, I would have said if, if this was a standalone story, I would, oh, I would, not, I would have stopped after the first three episodes. Hmm. It was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was not it was, it was like forget everything. If you were Dragon Ball started, I would have been like, yeah, this is garbage. <laughs> I would have watched this piece of crap. Like as a standalone story, it got you nothing, literally nothing good about it. Mm -hmm. It's like it's good because people I'm watching it because it's Dragon Ball. And because of the new arc. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for that new arc, I would I probably would have dropped it for a long time ago. And I've also said it before. If the first five episodes do not impress me, at least a little bit, I drop a stripper. Then I the chopper arc is the only thing that can make this theory worth watching at this point. I'm really hoping that I'm really hoping that they can get into it. And, and and part of me part of me really hopes that they don't just get into it. I I I don't think I think it's a really good bet that the Shampa arc is not like a 90 episode Majin Buu arc type of epic oh, story being yeah, told. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's totally. probably, like honestly, it's probably at most 45, 50. At you most. know, it'll have to be long to make up for how crappy it is a bit. I'm, I'm just saying like at most, it's probably like 45, 50. Um, like that's being very liberal with like how much it is. Like being very conservative, I would say like 30 to 40 episodes and we're done. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the biggest thing that worries me about this whole theory is that you took away the chop bar, there's nothing good about it. There's like literally barely anything good about this theory. There's like what? Two, like two, three, not even five things that make it worth a look, worth watching. Sandra Luggage, you like can, 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 can watch the movies. Yeah. And they want the chop bar. Well, well, you you're, you're not gonna notice anything different. You can you can watch the movie. Like I think that's what a lot of people don't think about is like, wait for the Shamp arc. The the Shamp arc. I think a lot of people are, but if you you're so mad, like and, and it, like you and I are mad. I'm mad. Yeah. I think exactly. a lot of people. I think a lot of people are mad about how bad it's been. But I feel like, it, it just I think my final thoughts on this is, really, it's it's one of these things where. You can just skip the. You can skip both and watch the movies and just keep going. True. So there's no difference. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just that it's a fan, it's like a long time fan. Is he totally taking a pretty much taking a dump on the franchise? <laughs> and you think, yeah, well, that's what they're doing. They're, mm -hmm. they're, they're making it look terrible, and it is. Mm -hmm. and, but people try to defend Super. I look at them like, why? You, there's no possible way to defend this theory. Mm hmm. Uh, I, yeah. I mean, there's no. Let me get. For the first, I mean, for the first 14, 15, 16, 17 episodes, there was. Like, it, it's it's so weird. It's been more than like 12 weeks have gone yeah. by. Or, but in like 12 weeks, like three months of having Dragon Ball Super for six months or so, how much I've come, like, just me personally, have come to be like, I don't really like this series very much anymore. Like, these last ten episodes have really just taken a toll on me. Oh, they're being terrible. Some of them are literally the movie. Some of them are literally the movie. Mm hmm Like what good about like if I want to see the movie, I'll watch the movie. Mm hmm I I I think you would agree, I'd rather watch the beautiful looking movie than a crappy looking anime. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There'll be no. a fascinating thing. I, I, I completely agree. I, I completely was just, I don't I, I don't even know what to think about it. Yeah, just, the Battle of God's arc was good. I, the, just, this arc, just, I feel like the biggest problem with this arc was that it was a wasted potential, and you can tell they're rushing it. You can tell like they want to get to the new content because they know people are getting angry, and they knew they know <laughs> people are dropping. Yeah, the pace the pace even was so quick compared to like. You know what it reminds me of? What? It reminds me of uh, these last two arcs compared. Yeah. Like, it hasn't been as long, but just looking at them, it reminds me of the pace uh, of the baby saga versus like versus uh, Super 17 and or the Shadow Dragon arc. 
you know, it's a lot more drawn out. Yeah, like the baby art, the baby fight was like half of GT. Yeah. Like, and then, uh, and then, like, as soon as they get to the Shadow Dragon arc, even though like the fights and the concept of it is like far more epic. Like Frieza coming back could have been epic. Like they could have done they so many cool things. That. They could have done so much stuff with it. But what they should have done, but it, it just feels like yeah, they're rushing it. They know that they can't sustain whatever, whatever is like their ratings are or something forever, and they have to get the new stuff in order to they make know, people happy. Nostalgia isn't going to work forever. They know mm-hmm. people. I know people who said when I was a kid, my favorite anime was Dragon Ball. I know people have said, oh, I stopped watching after episode 11, after episode 9. I couldn't handle rewatching it anymore. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's like, yeah, I agree. And a lot of people are also watching it in not their native language, and it makes it a little bit more annoying, because a lot of people really like the Bruce Fautner, Bruce Fautner score, and, um, and you know, like, all the dub casts and everything. We, we, we grew up with that. We want to hear that, and a lot of people don't want to I personally don't care. Yeah. No, I'm not saying I do either. I'm just saying. I'm not going to point that out. Neither one of us are like saying dub over sub or anything. No, no, no. I'm not it's saying. It's not misinterpret what we're saying here when we say we don't care. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't care either way, but my point is, is I think a lot of fans do care. And yeah. that's another. It's like, well, we're re watching stuff we've already seen in English, and I don't necessarily. And a lot of people are like, I don't care about sub content as much. Yeah. So if I'm gonna watch it, I'll just wait for them to dub it because they're gonna dub it. So I mean, no, my worry, especially, is that if they dub it, the casual fans that aren't part of like the YouTube or community or on the internet looking at stuff aren't going to know who the chuck are. And the ones that watch it on TV, they're not gonna know it. They're the chuck are. They're gonna be like, I remember seeing it in the movies. This is boring. I don't want to watch it. Drop it. And that's what's gonna happen. Maybe, maybe, but also think of it this way, that by the time they dub it, and people who aren't hardcore fans, the people who don't have, they've probably seen it, like, those movies once, don't buy them, like, don't buy them on home video, digital download, or something like that, they haven't seen Battle of God since 2014, and Captain OF since 2015, or at all, because a lot of yeah. people, a lot of people in this community don't, haven't seen them yet. I had a thunder uh, shot, yeah. The thing is, um... Maybe, maybe they would like it. Maybe they will like it. I mean, maybe, maybe when they get to episode eighteen uh, yeah. onward, it's going to be like refreshing because, like, oh, I haven't seen. It's like, I remember this from the movie, but I haven't seen it in a long time. Because think of it, think about it in our perspective. Because when um, you know, like, we know a lot more than most dumb fans. Like, we, we pick up for every episode, plot hole, this, that. Like yeah. Some, but people that don't pick up on that, they love it. Twenty two. They may love it. Yeah, and think of it this way: at least in the West, um, at least in the West, they would go in and like they release Rikatsu no F on a time when uh, they released it on DVD and Blu-ray right before it was starting in Super. Yeah, like they planned it, which I don't think they I'm did. Sure, but. I'm sure. I'm sure. Like some, something about that was kind of like, well, maybe, maybe not. But the fact is, like, I rewatched that movie as soon as I started watching the Cuts and Left and I have to say, even with rewatching it once, because I got it, I was like, I can't wait to rewatch this again. It was a really good movie, but even with that, really hurt my like, hurt episode eighteen, hurt episode nineteen, hurt episode twenty, like. My excitement was so down because it was so fresh. And maybe that's what they're going to need. Maybe what the, the, the dub fans are going to need is, like, um, it's not going to be so fresh. Like, those movies are going to be, like, a year, two, three out at that point. Yeah, and they're going to be like, you know what? I remember this, but I don't. I never remember it. Like, I don't remember Goten and Trunks being there. Oh, that's cool. Like, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, what I think personally is that they may do what they did with GT and start in the chop bar. Like, I, I'm pretty sure, sure, originally in GT, they started in the uh, baby arc. Well, I, I agree with that. I, I do. But, I mean, with GT, even though the first 13 episodes of GT are terrible, like, they're, they're just so slow. It, it's hard to get through them. You kind of have to watch them. I would never tell anyone to skip 
No, but I mean, per like an introduction into the theory, like okay. if you were to test it out and see if you're going to like it, I would not tell you, start on episode one. <laughs> I'd like, go watch Goku vs. Baby. If you enjoy that, watch GC. Mm -hmm. Watch the baby arc. If you enjoy it, you can go fill in the gaps. Mm -hmm. But don't try to get into it with the Black Star or Dragon Ball arc because the arc is garbage. It is like that. That is a that's a really hard arc to get through. If anyone has, if anyone's listening, gotten this far that hasn't watched GT, like that that Good arc video. is hard. To, that's hard to get through. I mean, my main argument with Super is that, especially when I that, mm -hmm. is that I've heard, I think it's Super again, he always says it, and a lot of other people always say it. If you want to redo the movie, fine. Do it better. Yeah. But I'm not talking better animation. Better animation. I'm talking about better storytelling. Storytelling doesn't cost money. Well, it does and it doesn't. Not much choreography behind it. I, I, he's, oh, just, he's, he's just not. You know he's not. I mean, we 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 we're smart. We're smart fan base. Like we know that he's Probably. not. Mostly. Mostly, but we, like most people know, he's not spearheading this. Like like I said, he's writing notes. He's not writing scripts. He's not writing. He's writing outlines, broad yeah, outlines. I mean, I think what I'm really happy about it, from what I understand, he is more heavily involved in the Chapa arc than he had been so far. I can believe that. Because it's new content. So he's going to be like, bless you. He'll care more about it. Yeah, maybe he just didn't fucking care about, like, he's like, well, I already retold that. Like, maybe, like, that's a, that's a thing. Maybe uh, to Toei and them are like, we want to redo the movies. And he's like, okay, go ahead. Yeah. And he's just like, really? Because we already told those stories. <laughs> that's not about work, and I'm too lazy. Yeah, I mean, maybe that's what happened. Maybe that's what happened. We don't know. We'll never maybe know. Maybe he's planning on how he's going to create an army of Brolies. <laughs> exactly. Right. They're just going to bro Brolies and uh, <coughs> Matabo, or whatever his name is. Yeah. M Matabo and Mata yeah. Mataba. And she. Broly's in there. He's going to use the Super Dragon Balls to wish for a, a uh, army of Broly's, <laughs> and they're going to overtake Universe Six as their home base. Yeah, and then slowly overtake all twelve universes. Yeah, I mean, my thing, biggest thing, big of the twelve universes. What you could have done, what you could have skipped, read the rest of that because it was so recent. Mm -hmm. And this would have been beautiful. You Ooh, could have kind of explained the gods and how they work. Hmm. But you could have felt that time building up maybe one episode per universe. Showing hmm. off the god of each universe. And you could have done something with that. Mm -hmm. I like that. That would have been, that would have been interesting. Like, there would need to be key parts of the story. Just show them all. Just so we can see them. A lot of people just want to see all the God. Mm -hmm. huh. I mean, if you had to rate the chop but red directed of F arc, what would you rate it? Oh god. I would rate it a five. Maybe like out of what, four. Out of, ten. out of ten, yeah. I would give it I'm gonna be honest. I would give like a Considering I was not even motivated to review some of the episodes and live react to some of them, and that means I wasn't even motivated to watch it in the first place, I'd give it a straight out of 10. I mean, it's Dragon Ball, and I love Dragon Ball, so not wanting to watch it, it means something. Mm -hmm. No, I, I think that's fair. I, I, I do think that's fair. Um, like last week, I even said in my review, sorry to review the day late. I stopped there when it's still the greatest, and you know what? I was like, yeah, screw Dragon Ball Super. I'll watch it on Monday. I don't care. <laughs> I, I, I'm with you, dude. I, I'm with you. It's, it's one of those things where I'm, I'm sitting there going, I don't... It's become a chore. Like I said, the last 10 episodes have really been a chore to watch, and it shouldn't be like that. Like, a, one of your favorite shows should not be 
Well, I don't know. Dragon Ball V and Dragon Ball are one of my favorites. I think I think a super is a whole separate thing, and that's not even in my top five. Okay, okay, but <laughs> maybe it shows the wrong word, but series. Friends, oh, it, it, it gets super, but Champa Oregon doesn't live up to my to the hype. It, Dragon Ball may go down a couple spots in my list of favorite series. Ouch. Uh, no, like, the, the, what are I don't know how they're going to do it, but they have one arc to make up for two arc that were meh. Well, one was, one was, I get it, I understand it, and then the other no, one. No, one of them was decent. The Battle of God arc, the Battle of God arc, can't yeah. be today, was decent. But yeah. But the resurrection of F arc, it just, is that bad that it like, if it ended there, it, the series would probably be ruined. I wouldn't say ruined. I would say, I would say, like, that would be the worst ending ever. Oh, yeah. We'll well, see. Yeah. We'll see. Like, it, I, I just, I, it's really hard to know what's going to happen in the future for Dragon Ball. Uh, I'm really hoping that this series is actually good. But you're right. Like, I think these last 10 episodes, this last arc in general, has left a big, really bad taste in a lot of people's mouths. So we're going to have to see, like, do they come through or no? I mean, yeah. uh, if Toy Tower Manga is anything to go on, then yeah, they could possibly come through and they could possibly, <laughs> like, it, it's exciting. Like, what's going on in the manga is like, really exciting. Always has yeah. been. As long but, as it looks good, they can do really good. But they need to make it visually decent. Not, not amazing, but decent. Not visual. Like I don't care about visuals. I'm talking about like. It no, like, with to, Goku had the, with Goku had to like when Goku had to fight. I don't want it to look like garbage. He's the main character. I don't think acting for a fight to look good is that should be that big of a request. Okay, but even even in that even with that said, visually, is one thing. I think in terms of story and stakes and all that. Dragon Ball Super, if it wants to be a nostalgia series, if it wants to just kind of be like, let's have this flashback and this flashback, and remember when this happened? Well, this kind of is like kind of reminiscent of that, isn't it? If it wants to be that way, then make a point to do that really frequently. Yeah. And it is, it is, but not that frequently to be the point where like I can make that argument definitive, definitively, even though I have been making that argument more and more these days. But if it really wants to be its own series and something completely away from Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z and even Dragon Ball GT for some degree or something, just kind of the next step in the Dragon Ball series, something different, then stop relying on those flashbacks. Stop relying on everything that came before. And you mean like stop using Kai footage? Yeah. Stop using Kai footage. Stop it's reading. Like, is that hard to reanimate Kurt's cutting Frida? Is it that hard? <laughs> I don't care if it looks good, just reanimate it. I mean, that's, that's my point. It's like just. The art style can flip with each other so much that it's like, too, it turns you off. You're like, wait, what? <laughs> no, you're like, what was that? I was just watching Snipper, now I'm watching something. I was just watching from 2015. Now I'm watching something from the 90s? See, I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm. I'm I'm a fan about that. I'm not. I'm not saying I hate it. I'm just saying, if that's what you want to do, make it clear. Like, yeah. Make it clear to us as fans and everything. It's like you know what this series is not about. The series is not about like covering new ground. It's about looking back into the past and seeing how far we've come. Yeah, that's especially fine. My, it can play it if you're gonna do things like new old old animation. Fine. But then, but don't just pick and choose when to do it. Yeah. Like, I, Freda I, destroyed Flight of Vegeta. Completely reanimated. Trunks yeah. kills Freda, old animation. It's like, why? Yeah. Uh, Dragon Ball footage, completely new animation. Um, it's Frieza seeing Gohan as a kid, completely new animation, even though it doesn't need to be. like. But then Trunks killing Freda is old animation. 
Yeah, and Vegeta and like uh, Goku killing Frieza or like old animation and all this like it's it's like pick one. Yeah, like pick pick one or there's no wrong there's nothing wrong with it. It's just pick, pick one, one and and show us like what you want to do. Like there's no stakes in Dragon Ball Super. There's just no fucking stakes, and I don't know why. Like I think they're recapping everything. We <laughs> we know what can happen. We knew Piccolo was gonna be alive. We knew that. Well. Yeah, we we know we, well regardless, anyone who dies in Dragon Ball Super is, we yeah. we knew we knew that. <laughs> True, I mean also I'm gonna say the top the fact that in the red direction of F R it takes away from it massively for me. Mm-hmm. But they have this, the amount of time skips they have, but they don't tell us what point in time the series begins. Uh, is a major yeah. major problem because it's so stupid. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, I, I completely agree. <laughs> it's just one of these things where... <clears throat> yeah, like, and new animation, old animation. If it's like this, like, make up your mind. Do you want us to know when the series takes place or not? Mm-hmm. It's like it's like to go back and forth on their decisions a lot of the time. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, like, I... I, I yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, like, I, I hate... I hate the fact that they do that. I hate the fact that they they don't want to necessarily take the time to reanimate the flashbacks. They don't necessarily want to take the time to explain how this happened or that happened or what or this was, how much time was in between this, how much, like... No, and then they go ahead and do it, like, two episodes later. Yeah. We're like, we're not going to tell you how much time it passed in the Boo Saga, but we're going to tell you how much time it passed if Vegeta started trading with Whis. Because we need to because it's necessary for the plot. Yeah. It's hard. Like, I, it's like through what you want to know. All we care about is the thing that we need for the plot. Mm-hmm. Well, like they needed to tell us how long Vegeta had been training so we can understand why he was stronger than Vegeta. Yeah. I mean, think yeah. they go through. Then go through, yeah. But I guess We've been we've been talking for a while. I mean, yeah. We got into a kind of a tangent, but the fact of the matter is, is just the like in, in, if we're taking Super as a whole right now. And I know you have your opinions; I have mine. But like I said in the past in this video, I, the last ten episodes, ten eleven episodes, those have been so. Those have been so. Boy. Yeah, just so different, so boring, so. So like the only the only thing reaction you get out of it is like a that's a plot hole. Yeah, it's like the only thing you can necessarily talk about anymore with this series feels like <laughs> it's that's, a, that's, that's, that's a plot it's hole. Wrong. That's a plot hole, and this animation is starting to get on my fucking nerves. Like that's the only thing like that you can actually talk about with this series anymore. And that's half the videos on YouTube about it. Yeah, and it's depressing. You get distances. There's nothing, there's no video talking about how good Super is. There's people defending it, but... No, but then, they, they do, whenever you defend it, you don't defend it well. You're either defending it blindly, or telling the truth about it. Yeah. It's like, if you, the people who defend it are like, oh, well you can explain Nick with a head cannon, and it's like, I don't care about head cannons. Yeah, exactly. I don't care about head cannon. Well, I care about my head cannon. Like I, the, the thing about Dragon Ball is you always have to make it. It's always been that type of series that makes you think how to make it sense in your head. No, but don't try to excuse like, the theory. Being no, no, no. What head cannon? Don't do that. No, I understand. I'm just saying, like, yeah, just, just you can, you can do it if you want, but just know that, like, the series is bad, like. Uh, yeah. Like, plot holes take away from a theory, and you take it, something away from it, it makes it bad. It's like, critically, as when you, like, review it, you cannot use take it. You have to use facts only. Mm-hmm. And material only. And then the canonicity of Super doesn't even make sense. The Ebola talks about filler in one of the episodes. Yeah. The whole squishy body would get you thing. I'm like, but that's filler. 
works. Yeah, and then and even in that filler, it would work in death set. They would give you the body game. Well, she gave the, she gave him. She knew he was intelligent, so she made him a speaker. Yes, <laughs> but that was more consistent than this. Yeah, I, I agree. It, it's one of these things where it's kind of like considering filler, the filler should, filler should, the filler should be really good. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it really depends. Honestly, this series really depends on your view about like what you want, and what you. But I agree. It, this last arc was not good. It kind of worries me about the next arc, although I have my hopes. Yeah. My hopes are high. I think everyone's hopes are high. Uh, was it going to be the downfall of a lot of people? <laughs> a lot of people have really high expectations and they're going to be let down. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's nothing ever lived up to the hype. I mean, I don't think anyone... If anything, if anything, I, I feel like people's expectations have gone down for Super with this last 10 episodes. And that could actually be a huge, uh, like that could actually be huge for Toei. Was like, now we're willing to, like anything new and exciting is willing to be, gonna bring praise, even if it's not that good. And maybe that could happen, True. maybe not. Also, I'm gonna point this out before we end off the video. People need to understand that Toei is not putting all their effort into Dragon Ball Super. And I don't care whether or not the content is new, they never will. It is not what makes them the most money. People seem to think Dragon Ball made Toei the most money in Japan. That is so far from wrong, it's funny. It's One Piece. In One Piece, by, by, by mile, One Piece had, had its own store. There's literally a store just for the theory. I've never even heard of a store dedicated to just Dragon Ball. And like, I've never heard of the Dragon Ball theme park before, have you? Is there a One Piece theme park? There has been, like, that they open temporarily. There is stuff like that. It's like, it's not even a contest in Japan. That's crazy, dude. So going to put everything they have into One Piece. Like, the latest episode of One Piece, I said, you, you can watch my live reaction, I say, no wonder Supers have bad animation. They've been putting everything into this new episode. It's a new episode. It's like, they, 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 looked at, they looked at what makes them more money, and what had what episode was more important? And they were like, "Throw Dragon Ball Super." Yeah, this this is this is more original content. It's hyped up more. This needs to be well animated. So mm -hmm. we're not going to put our money into Dragon Ball Super. It's like people. I, I just think of people acting like Dragon Ball is this big, of, is bigger than it actually is. Dragon Ball is nostalgic, and Dragon Ball is. The same thing. Also, don't complain about Dragon Ball Super having bad animation unless you're gonna buy the DVD. Oh, I'm gonna buy it. I, no, I, I think the people that do. I'm like, <laughs> let that in general. Like, you're complaining about them not having it when you don't get that when you don't support the company. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. It's like, like, I'm gonna what? buy. It. Yeah, yeah, like, it's like, why would it look good? Why? There's no reason for it to look good. <laughs> Exactly. I mean, like, uh, who, who we're knows? Not supporting it. Where are they gonna get the money? I mean, we're not supporting it at all. Like, that's the that I think that's the worst part about watching Dragon Ball Super for me, at least. I, I'm a I'm an avid supporter of the things that I like. I like to buy it. Or at I least, do too. But like, the thing is, yeah, like everyone in the in the West who's watching Dragon Ball Super is stealing it. Yeah, I mean, I, I say this about a lot of theories is that where I don't go out. I love One Piece. I don't go out and buy every DVD. But I do get them, I do plan on getting them eventually. The reason I would get them is if I'm to take so long to dumb it. Yeah, I'm like, what, 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 if you own a single DVD, I'm like, why are you complaining? And you realize the money they put into the animation comes from the money they make off of it, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, and half of the, and over half of the population of people watching it are watching it for free. Mm -hmm. Well, everyone outside of Japan, it, that's like that, again, that is totally fault. Yeah, that that's totally like that's. You can't, I don't blame the fandom for that. That's just as much on Toei as it is on us. 
But yeah, like to do it with that. Stuff. Yeah, but, but even still, like we would still probably be streaming it as well. Like the people are gonna steal no matter what. You know, I understand that you love the theory and you don't have the money to pay for TV and streaming services. I get that. Like, I understand that. And I, and I love, okay, well, then go watch it bootlegs. I understand that. You love the franchise. You have the right to watch it. Mm -hmm. But in the end, it's like... I agree. I agree with what you said earlier. And this is definitely a video for another day, and we should probably think about talking about this stuff. It's like... Uh, so like just like a video, you and I should do this uh, soon. Well, yeah. Like. Yeah. Well, we end this day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like. Um, about like supporting your yeah. own, like supporting your fandom. Yeah, that's, that's a good topic. Stuff. But yeah, so we 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 rambled long enough. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. Yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos, and check out Real to Real channel. Link will be in the description box down below. Peace. Have a great day.